네, 오늘은 누구의 이야기를 들어볼까요? So today we have a clip sent to us from Serena from Germany. That's right. She's studying abroad in Ukraine, Ukraine. as you know. Mm-hmm. 사리나 씨는 왠지 무서워하는 게 별로 없을 것 같은 느낌인데 실제로는 어떨지 이야기를 한번 들어볼까요? Serena 씨, 나와주세요. Sometimes I think I'm way too rational for this world to have fun. <laughs> um, I can say that I have no irrational fears due to the fact that as soon as I want to accept a new, fun, irrational fear that I might have, I start to overthink them so much that they suddenly become logical or rational. For example, if I'm scared of planes to crash down as soon as I sit down in my seat, I finally realize actually it's a normal fear because some plane crashes happen these days. But I don't think I have irrational fears. And also, other people might be scared that someone creepy could jump out of this corner, but I am not because I'm way too rational. Sorry guys, today I cannot help you with any irrational fear from Serena, but I hope if you have some of those, you will be able to cope with them and finally realize that it's okay and don't be afraid. Mm, I knew it. <웃음> 역시. 그렇죠. She doesn't have any irrational fears. 맞아요. 뭔가 진짜로 이런 비이성적인 두려움을 안 가지고 있을 것 같은 느낌이 있었어요. Yeah. 음. I kind of felt it too. <웃음> 한번 그래도 재밌는 문장들 많이 쓰였고 좋은 표현들 소개가 되었으니까 한번 All right. 공부해 볼까요? All right. So let's start with the first thing she said is Sometimes I think I'm way too rational for this world to have fun. 네. Sometimes I think I'm way too rational for this world to have fun. Way too 아까는 smart라고 했는데 여기에서는 mm-hmm. 바로 rational. Okay. 아까 그 핵심 문장이 여기에 녹아 mm-hmm. 있죠. Sometimes 가끔은 I think 저는 이런 느낌이 듭니다. I am way too rational. 너무 이성적인 거죠. Mm-hmm. Too 하면 항상 그렇게 좋은 건 아니에요. Yeah. yeah. You can be way too silly. Yeah. Yeah. You make too many jokes. That's right. Yeah. 그래서 지나친 거죠. Mm-hmm. Way too rational for this world to have fun. 뭔가 재미가 있기에는 이 세상에서 <웃음> 재미가 있기에는 너무 이성적이래요. Oh. So it means she's no fun. Yeah. Oh, all right, And I so. thought you were the person who wasn't fun. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Maybe I have to switch that. <laughs> you know that I'm no fun to hang out with, <laughs> but she's probably the same as me. Probably. Okay, let's move on. All right. I can say that I have no irrational fears due to the fact that... Mm-hmm. I can say that I have no irrational fears due to the fact that... 저는 이렇게 말할 수 있습니다. That I have no irrational fears. Mm-hmm. 비이성적인 두려움이 없다고 말할 수 있는데 그 이유가 뭐라고 말할 수 있는가 하면 Due to the fact that, due to the fact that, mm-hmm. 그냥 because. Yeah, basically, because 네. but in a long way. 맞아요. Mm. Because인데 길게 말하는 거죠. Mm-hmm. 그리고 뭐 because를 굳이 길게 말할 이유는 없지만 yeah. 자주 쓰는 말이에요. Yeah, we use it a lot. And 네. sometimes, you know, if we're writing a paper, if we want to sound a bit more formal, due to the fact that sounds a bit more formal. 네, yeah. 뭐뭐라는 사실 로 인해서란 말이죠. Yeah. 그래서 due to the fact that 그리고 워낙 자주 쓰이는 표현이다 보니까 아무도 due to the fact that 이렇게 끊어서 말하지 않고요. 그냥 due to the fact that. Yeah, we always say it like that. Due to the fact that. Mm-hmm. Due to the fact that. Due to the fact that. I'm hungry due to the fact that I didn't I, eat. Yeah. yeah. 이렇게 말할 수있겠 I'm sleepy due to the fact that I didn't sleep. <웃음> 네, due to the fact that. Due to the fact that. 거의 한 단어처럼 쭉 나올 수 있게끔. Sounds like a rap. 네. Due to the fact that. <웃음> 맞아요. <웃음> 뭔가 로봇 사운드 같죠? <웃음> yeah. And the next sentence, there are some words we need to take a close look at, so let's watch the clip first. As soon as I want to accept a new, fun, irrational fear that I might have. As soon as I want to accept a new, fun, irrational fear that I might have. Okay, what did she say? All right, she said. As soon as I want to accept a new fun irrational fear that I might have. 네. 강조를 하다 보니까 이제 accept가 앞에 나와 있는 want to accept, want to accept. 아, to accept. 네. want to accept. 음. to 하고 accept가 연결이 돼 버렸죠? Yeah, kind of sounds like not to accept, to, to accept. 네. to accept. 저희가 이렇게 연음을 많이 소개를 하는데 연음이라는 것이 틀린 발음이 절대 아니죠. Yeah. 
네, 여러분도 자연스럽게 발음을 하다 보면 그렇게 될수 있다라는 right. 가능성을 보여드리는 거예요. Right, right, as right. soon as I want to accept, to accept, to accept. 네, right. 그리고 이렇게 여러분도 연습을 해놔야 이렇게 발음을 할줄 알아야 들리는 거죠. Mm-hmm. 나는 For 한 sure. 번도 이렇게 발음해본 적이 없는데 들린다 그런 일은 별로 없어요. Mm-hmm. 내가 그 발음을 해봤어야 들리게 되는 거죠. Right. Want to accept a new, 그 다음에 fun, 재미있는이라고 하는 것도 mm-hmm. 발음을 조금은 어, 다르게 해준 것 같은데. Fun, 약간 폰트, 글자 uh, 폰트처럼도 발음이 되지 않았나요? True. But it's fun irrational. Fun irrational. 네, fun. Font처럼도 fun. 들릴 수 있지만 fun, fun irrational fear that I might have. 어, 새로운, 재미있는, 비성적인 두려움을 받아들이려고 하면 하자마자 라는 말이고 Even the fact that she's saying fun irrational fear mm-hmm. might also imply that she might not have any irrational fears. Yeah, definitely. Because they're usually not fun. Yeah, for people who have irrational right. fears. Or she might mean interesting. Because yeah. before she said to have fun, she's too rational. Mm. So maybe, oh, if I can just have this interesting thing, like a funny thing, yeah. then, yeah, could be that too. Yeah, could be that. 자, 그럼 이 부분 복습해 보겠습니다. As soon as I want to accept a new, fun, irrational fear that I might have. As soon as I want to accept a new, fun, irrational fear that I might have. So she wants to accept it, but she says, I start to overthink them so much that they suddenly become logical or rational. (laughs) I start to overthink them so much that they suddenly become logical or rational. 우리 말 뜻부터 보자면 저는 생각을 overthink 너무 많이 해서 that 그 결과 갑자기 suddenly become logical or rational 논리적이거나 rational 이성적이게 된다라는 거죠 그 두려움 mm. 자체가 어 그럴 수 있겠네 uh, of course yeah I can see why I am scared 그러면서 uh. 이해를 해버린다는 거죠 that's true yeah any irrational fear if you, you... can think If yeah. you honestly thought about it, like if I overthought my irrational fear about the teeth, mm. then I wouldn't be scared. That's right. But and yeah, also yeah. if you understood why you are afraid of it, right. maybe you can get rid of it. That's true. 그런 이야기인 것 같아요. Mm-hmm. 그리고 overthink라는 것도 원래는 think 앞에 over를 붙인 거잖아요. Mm-hmm. There are many words that are like this, mm-hmm. right? Over plus an existing verb, mm-hmm. like like yeah. Like you mean like overdo, overthink, over... overdo, overwork, mm-hmm. oversleep. 맞아요. Uh-huh. 그래서 overdo 하면은 지나치게 하는 거. 그다음에 overeat. Overeat 너무 많이 먹는 거. Oversleep mm-hmm. 이제 너무 많이 잠을 자서 늦잠 자는 거. 그리고 아까 얘기했던 overwork, overwork. 과로 하는 것도 이렇게 원래 있는 단어들에 mm-hmm. over 붙이는 거죠. Maybe you can even say over worry. <웃음> oh yeah. <웃음> 네. 사전에 없어도 만들 수 있어요. Yeah, that's the one thing about English is you can make so many things even if they're not official words and people will understand. 맞아요. Yeah. 그리고 그런 게 있을 수 있다면 overstudy, maybe if you study too much, yeah. overstudy. You can never study too much though. 네. <웃음> 그래서 생각을 너무 많이 해서 다 모든 게 논리적으로 변해버린다는 거죠. Mm-hmm. All right, and next she says, for example, if I'm scared of planes to crash down as soon as I sit down in my seat, Mm -hmm. for example, if I'm scared of planes to crash down as soon as I sit down in my seat. 예를 들어, as soon as I sit down in my seat, Mm -hmm. 좌석에 앉자마자 비행기가 추락할지도 모른다는 두려움이 생기면 이라는 건데요. 뭐두 가지 표현 보죠. Crash down. Mm -hmm. What's crash? So crash is when two things hit each other. Mm-hmm. So if a plane crashes, it's hitting the ground. 맞아요. Hitting the ground. 그런 경우라면 사실 down 안 써도 괜찮죠. Yeah, you could just say if the plane crashes and we understand because planes fly in the air, mm. we just understand, ah, it's the ground. 그렇죠. Yeah. 이 crash가 이제 뭐 부딪힌다는 말도 되고 또 추락한다는 말도 되어서 mm-hmm. 또 언제 쓰이냐면 운동을 할때 mm-hmm. 유도라든지 아니면 체조 뭐 운동을 할때 착지 매트 같은 거 있죠? Mm-hmm. 그 푹신푹신하게 몸을 던져도 안 다치는 것을 착지 매트를 영어로 crash mat라고 하죠. Oh yeah, because you you know you drop the things on it to make it so it doesn't like crash so hard. I yeah. Guess. yeah, you you don't get hurt you don't, even if yeah, you yeah. throw your body onto it. Right. Crash mat. Mm-hmm. 이렇게 이제 운동할 때 많이 yeah, 쓰는 yeah. 거가 이제 crash mat고 여기서는 down까지 붙여서 밑으로 추락한다는 걸 강조해줬고 sit down in my seat 전에도 mm-hmm. 소개한 적이 있지만. 
on보다는 in을 쓰죠. In, right, because you're kind of like inside of it and not on. If you're on a seat, that means maybe you're you turned it upside down and you're standing on it. <웃음> 아니면 그런 것도 있어요. What? 어 정말 작은 아이용 유아용 좌석인데 oh, right. 안 들어가요. 엉덩이가 안 들어가는데 그 All 위에 right. 그냥 걸터 앉았으면 then you're on. on. Right. 그런데 안으로 들어가서 뭐 팔걸이도 있고 mm-hmm. 안으로 깊숙이 몸을 넣을 수 있다면 무조건 인입니다. Right. 음, okay. Okay. And then she says, I finally realized actually it's a normal fear. I finally realized actually it's a normal fear. <웃음> 네. 생각을 계속 하다 보니까 이제 비행기가 떨어질 거라는 그 두려움조차도 finally 결국에는 eventually 똑같은 말이죠. Mm-hmm. Eventually realize 깨닫습니다. Actually 사실은 In fact, mm-hmm. it's a normal fear. 정상적인 두려움이라는 거 깨닫는데요. Yeah, yeah. That's true if you think about it like yeah, that. She's no fun to l o t I know, right? <laughs> so the next she says, because some plane crashes happen these days. Mm-hmm. Because some plane crashes happen these days. 왜냐하면 비행기 추락 사고가 happen, 생길 때가 있으니까요. Mm-hmm. These days, 요즘에 이렇게 말하는 거고 어, 이 문장을 사실 조금 더 의미를 더 살리고 싶다면 이렇게도 말할 수 있을 것 같아요. Because some plane crashes do happen these days. Yeah. 이제 뭐 이럴, 이렇게 두려워할 수 있죠. 왜냐하면 do happen, 일어나긴 일어나니까. Of course they do. Yeah. 그래서 강조할 때쓸수 있을 것 같고요. <웃음> okay, and then she says, But I don't think I have irrational fears. Mm-hmm. But I don't think I have irrational fears. 그렇지만 저는 비이성적인 두려움은 없는 것 같아요. Yeah. I think here with this sentence she could have easily said so I don't think I have any irrational fears, right? Oh, uh, that's true. So. 네. Right. Cuz she's saying that she has rational fears. Mm. But not irrational fears, or so she doesn't have any irrational fears. 맞아요. 논리적인 흐름으로는 but도 괜찮고, mm-hmm. so도 괜찮고, 뭐 심지어 therefore까지도 괜찮을 것 같아요. Mm-hmm. 앞에 이유들이 다 나오고 있잖아요. Yeah. She stated many, many other reasons that mm-hmm. she does not or cannot have irrational fears. She did. Yeah, and I think by now our viewers might be so used to, so familiar with the expression irrational fear. I think so too. But I think it's good. That's why I really like that we do one topic for the week. Yeah. So you can hear the same words over and over again. 맞아요. Yeah. 자주 쓰이는 표현들이 지금 계속 반복이 됐잖아요. Yeah. Irrational fear부터 시작해서 뭐 afraid of, scared Something of. Scared of, yeah. right? That's okay. good, right? So, let's move on to the next sentence. She said, and also other people might be scared that and also other people might be scared that. 그리고 다른 사람들은 might be scared that. 뭐뭐가 일어날 거라고 뒤에 아직 내용이 나오지 않았습니다. Mm-hmm. 두려워할 수도 있겠죠. They are, they are not scared for sure, but might, might be. be. Mm. Right, there's a possibility. Yes. Okay, scared that someone creepy could jump out of this corner. Someone creepy could jump out of this corner. Someone creepy, 한 사람이, 번역은 잠시 후에 보고요. <웃음> could jump out of this corner. 이 모퉁이를 지금 영상에서 가리키고 있죠. 이렇게 가리키고 있는데 모퉁이에서 튀어나올 수도 있다고 두려워할 수도 있죠. Might be scared. Mm-hmm. So who is or what kind of person is a creepy person? A creepy person is some type of it could be like a monster type person mm-hmm. or a creepy person could just be like someone who does bad things mm-hmm. or a weird person. Yeah. It has a lot of meaning. 맞아요. Yeah. 여기서는 무서운 사람이라고 번역했는데 사실은 뭐 무섭거나 아니면 yeah. 이상하거나 yeah. 약간 다른 사람들을 괴롭힐 수도 있겠고요. Yeah. 좀 이해가 안 되는 경우. Right. So sometimes you call that someone creepy a creep. Yeah. 음, Creeps. They 맞아요. do things that people don't like generally. 그렇죠. How about that? 사실은 오해가 있을 수도 있지만 yeah. 일반적으로 그냥 아, 난잘 이해가 안 돼. 멀리 하고 싶어. 라고 mm-hmm. 할때 creep이라는 말을 right. 종종 쓰더라고요. Mm-hmm. 무서운 사람이라고 번역해 봤습니다. Right. And next she says But I am not because I'm way too rational. But I'm not because I'm way too rational. 여기에서 I'm not 뒤에 생략된 말은 뭐죠? Mm-hmm. What's missing? I here? am not afraid that somebody would jump out of this corner. 그렇죠. <웃음> <웃음> I am not 뒤에 뭐가 빠졌는지 아셔야 됩니다. Mm-hmm. 바로 앞 문장에 나왔었죠? Because I'm way too rational. 저는 너무 이성적이기 때문에 mm-hmm. 그런 게 무섭지 않대요. She knows mm-hmm. that she's alone in the house. She knows that nobody came in. Yeah. She just knows everything. That's awesome because when I'm alone in a house at night, if I hear a noise, I'm like, oh, what is, I know that 
you know, nobody probably can come in, but still. Still? I'm yeah. afraid still. Yeah. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. So next she says, sorry guys, today I cannot help you with any irrational fear from Serena. <laughs> Sorry guys, today I cannot help you with any irrational fear from Serena. 이것도 굉장히 영어스러운 표현이에요. Yeah. 죄송합니다. 오늘은 일단 번역을 자연스럽게 해보자면 사리나의 비이성적인 두려움에 대한 이야기를 해드릴 수가 없네요라는 의미로 말한 건데. Yeah. She chose the words help you guys. I can't help you guys. Yeah, we actually we say that a lot. Mm. In any case where you are supposed to do something but you can't pull through mm. or you can't do it. You can just say, "Oh, sorry, I can't help you." 맞아요. Yeah, yeah. 또는 농담 하나만 해줘. 제가 막 이야기했는데. Oh, sorry, I can't help you. 네. I don't know any jokes. 그렇죠. Yeah. 제가 도와달라고 한게 아니잖아요. Right, right, right. 그런데 I can't help you라는 답이 와요. Right. 그 말은 도움이라기보다는 그냥 그걸 제공해 줄수 없다는 yeah. 거죠. I can't give you what you asked for. Yeah, or what I want. Yeah, I can't give you what I want. I can't give you what you asked for. 맞아요. I can't do it. Right. 또, 뭐 이런 이 분야에 대해서 책좀 추천해줘라고 했는데 그 분야는 몰라. Oh, I, can't I can't help you. you. 네, 도와줄 I don't read. <웃음> <웃음> 책을 아예 안 읽으면 도와줄 수 없다보다는 어, 모르겠어 이런 yeah. 말이고요. Mm -hmm. And then? But I hope if you have some of those. But I hope if you have some of those. 그런데 여러분에게 if you have some of those irrational, irrational fears, fears. 그런 두려움이 있다면. You will be able to cope with them and finally realize that it's okay and don't be afraid. 네. You will be able to cope with them and finally realize that it's okay. Don't be afraid. 네. I hope 하고 연결되어 있죠. 여러분이 cope with 극복하고 대처하는 거죠. Mm -hmm. 대처할 수 있기를 바라고 and finally realize 결국에는 깨닫기를 바라시, 바랍니다. That it's okay. 괜찮다는 거를요. Mm. And don't be afraid. 무서워하지 마세요. Okay, so that was the end of the story. It was, right. and we're going to take a look at it two more times. Let's watch. Sometimes I think I'm way too rational for this world to have fun. <laughs> um, I can say that I have no irrational fears due to the fact that as soon as I want to accept a new fun irrational fear that I might have, I start to overthink them so much that they suddenly become logical or rational. For example, if I'm scared of planes to crash down as soon as I sit down in my seat, I finally realize actually it's a normal fear because some plane crashes happen these days. But I don't think I have irrational fears and also other people might be scared that someone creepy could jump out of this corner, but I am not because I'm way too rational. Sorry guys, today I cannot help you with any irrational fear from Serena, but I hope if you have some of those, you will be able to cope with them and finally realize that <laughs> it's okay and don't be afraid. Sometimes I think I'm way too rational for this world to have fun. <laughs> um, I can say that I have no irrational fears due to the fact that as soon as I want to accept a new fun irrational fear that I might have, I start to overthink them so much that they suddenly become logical or rational. For example, if I'm scared of planes to crash down as soon as I sit down in my seat, I finally realize actually it's a normal fear because some plane crashes happen these days. But I don't think I have irrational fears. And also, other people might be scared that someone creepy could jump out of this corner, but I am not because I'm way too rational. Sorry guys, today I cannot help you with any irrational fear from Serena, but I hope if you have some of those, you will be able to cope with them and finally realize that <laughs> it's okay and don't be afraid. Okay, thank you so much for that. I will try and take your advice and overcome my irrational fears. Yeah, for me, there's nothing to overcome. <laughs> uh, okay, you're one of those people like Serena. That's okay. 네. Anyway, we're going to go and learn some other vocabulary words. So, it's time for straight. Smart. Smart.